Hello my beautiful hammerhead and welcome back! I'm back! So, um, for real this time. Um, today we're gonna talk a little bit about the Games Workshop pre-orders that are coming next Saturday and then a little bit of Age of Sigmas getting monthly updates apparently. Um, but yeah, let's dive in with the yeah, well, the pre-order. Sunday preview, the new edition of Warmer Underworlds is nearly here. I know I skipped a lot of them, but this doesn't need to... Well, I don't need to go back because you already know what's on pre-order. So we're gonna do the things that are being next. So, Warmer Underworlds, Amberguard, um, it's not really my cup of tea. Uh, they changed quite a lot on the game that makes it easier especially with the board and everything else but I'm not the card player yes I have magic cards I'm terrible at it I lose every match but um, I like the concept of underworld but I'm terrible at it <laughs> but I love the models every time something is uh, announced for Underworlds. The models are 9 out of 10 times. They are amazing. And the one time out of 10 times, it's meh. But okay, uh, let's go. Um, 40k, the Red Gobo. That is an amazing Christmas miniature again. I'm not the biggest fan again of the Red Gobo, um, but every time it's so funny last years with the chimney and the sack with the presents in it was amazing especially the painting on it and this one is just incredibly funny with the grenade snowballs <laughs> this just reminds me of my childhood when teachers said don't throw snowballs they might be stones in them so yeah we are kids what do you mean? <laughs> we just pick stuff up and throw it at each other. <laughs> um, this is the embodiment for me. Um, just bare chested and with an ammo belt across the chest. <laughs> ah, beautiful. I love this one. Horus Heresy, the Geonis Astartes melee weapons upgrade set, which looks fantastic. Holy damn, this one is awesome. I really, really like this one. Um, especially the two spears here and this one. Back then when the Stern Guard veterans were released for Space Marines in 40k, I had to remodel the arms, the sword, the scabbard, everything to get this pose. And now we have it Oh, this is so oh, this is so good. I love this so much. Uh, it will make it way, way easier. And the Thunder Hammer. Maybe I'm one of the few who don't like the sun, uh, thunder, the Thunder Hammer of the Primaris Marines, the small little tiny thing. I want a Thunder Hammer two-handed smash it over the head of your enemy. Make every problem, every enemy a nail and not like, oh yeah, I'm the little tiny boy with the rubber hammer and I will play with it. Um, no, this two-handed beast of destruction, this is what I want. <laughs> um, but again, maybe you like the 100 ones and that is totally fine. These are purely aesthetical things and aesthetics are, again, a totally personal thing. So, if you like it, I love it. Um, Horus Heresy Blast Markers and Templates. Um, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there are markers. I don't have anything to say about them. Um, White Dwarf 506, Cauldron of War. Um, I haven't bought any White Dwarfs in the last couple of months because uh, I bought a couple of them since the Hubby Bunker uh, was revealed. But I haven't read them really. I skipped a little bit through it and it's just a waste of money for me. Um, but again, there are things in there that are amazing. 
I just don't think it's worth nine euros um, and or your regional equivalent. But again, that is something that you have to decide. If you're really reading this, it is amazing. Then go for it. For me, it's just uh, I just I just don't have the time. That is why I listen to everything in Audible. Um, speaking of which. The High Carl's Oath by Gav Thorpe. I'm really looking forward to this. This is our first Leaks of Wotan novel. Finally! Finally! It's, uh, it's... I felt parched when it came to Leaks of Wotan lore. And this is kind of reigniting my love for... Uh, and I'm not sugarcoating this right now i don't this this whole video has such a negative uh, vibe to it and i'm really sorry about that uh, you know i'm supporting what i love and uh, but i can criticize things what i love because i want it to be better 40k law as of right now is stale nothing happens there are so many wasted potentials in there. This is one of the reasons why I needed a small break from everything. And this one is getting me right back to it. I hope this will do something. Of course, in the special edition, um, depending on the price, because uh, Games Workshop raised the prices for hard book, uh, for hardcover books from 25 euros to 29 euros, which is a lot. A percentage is a lot. And 4 euros, this is my whole day's worth of food. Um, maybe a little less than that, but still, it's a lot. 4 euros, uh, I don't know what to say. <sighs> yeah, but then again, uh, maybe depending on the price of the special edition one i want this one because uh unlike space marine novels there aren't going to be a lot of leaks of wotan novels um for series special editions one like the dawn of fire novels um the dawn of fire is going to be the last real series that I'm going to buy in special edition because I really don't like it anymore. For singular books, this is going to be my thing. Probably. Depends on what it is. With this one, I I might say yes, uh, depending on how I feel on Saturday. Long Live the Red Gobo by Justin Woody. Uh, this is probably going to be a lot of fun. Um, but no audible version, so no for me as of right now. They might do an audiobook version for it later. It happened. Um, if one comes out, I'm really looking forward for this one. <laughs> because that's, again, it's going to be fun. The Red Gobo collection, this one has here. The tiny little headphone symbol. Um, go for it. Really, really funny. And Black Library audiobook collections. I really love this one. It's depending on the price, uh, because when you buy things on the official Black Library site, they're a lot more expensive. And with a lot more, I mean 300% more. If you have an Audible uh, subscription, you, well, in Germany, it's 10 euros a month or your regional equivalent, and you ha can have one audiobook per month. And every other audiobook you want costs another 10 euros. Otherwise, it would also cost the same as you would pay for any other audiobook. So with these collections, I, I really intrigued what they will cost. Vampire Genoveve, I have the reviews here on my channel. I'm really in love with Genoveve novels. Kim Newman, awesome. Um, the Warm Adventure books are really well written. I bought the first ones for my nephew. He really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed them. They're somehow really gruesome, <laughs> even though they're children's books. Um, if you have a child in your family, 
or you want to gift one of your friend's child's birthday something, the Warhammer Adventure books are great. Um, so the 40k and the Age of Sigma ones. Gangs of Necromunda, nice. Beast Arises, uh, they're fine. Um, it totally depends on what you're looking for. If it's just fun, go for it. Uh, Beast Arises just didn't catch me. Uh, French and German Black Library books, okay. Uh, Sanguinius in German, Night Lords in German, Siege of Terror collection is... Uh, does it say which one this is? Because Morvenval is obviously French. Uh, I think Siege of Terror collection is also... Wait, uh, Siege of Terror, Solar Wars, but uh, by John French, uh, doesn't say. Huh. Yeah, well, uh, in one of the two languages. And Warmer Plus, Underworld's Battle Report. Okay, fine. And Loremaster Tau, uh, Tau Empire, Third Sphere Expansion. Results of Commander Shadow Sun's elevation to Supreme Commander of the Tau Forces. Nice. Oh, which product is delayed in Australia or New Zealand? Uh, let's check. Where's the asterisk? Um, yeah, we're doing this live, right now, live. Uh, wait, is it Underworlds? No. Wait. Uh, where is my... Ah, okay, yeah, the upgrade set for the Geonis Astartes. I'm sorry, New Zealand and Australia, you have to wait for this one. Oh, I didn't see that one. I want the bearded hat. <laughs> Even though I don't really have Space Marines anymore, I just have the character models that I wanted to keep um, because uh, I only have Necrons and Leaks of Wotan. As much as I love my Space Marines, it's just way too much right now. I want Games Workshop to change a little bit before I dive back in with my love for painting Space Marines. But yeah, uh, my quick thoughts on AOS monthly updates. Apparently this is a thing now. I'm not really sure if this is a thing. So please uh, tell me if I'm wrong here. I just heard it uh, passing by basically. If this is a thing, I kind of love it and I'm kind of a little bit suspicious of it because um, let's start with the suspicious one because it's not that bad. Um, it might lead to confusion. It might lead to discussions on tournaments. There are players who are waiting for such moments to discuss things. Um, tournament organizers so TOs have to be really, uh, they have to say, okay, we're having a tournament in two months, but we're going to use the update from in one month, uh, in one month, in one month, and that's it. Whatever update comes after that one is irrelevant for this tournament, which for me personally is kind of important because it gives everyone time to play with that update. For everyone else, I think this is great. I think this is really, really good. Because as soon as you say we are having monthly updates, and if it is consistent, if it is always at the end of the month or the beginning of the month, everyone knows, okay, uh, I can, I'm just going to check what happened. And this is also one of the things I always say, don't buy your army, depending on rules, buy it as a collection. Um, just play the rule of cool if you want for a certain amount of time, because it's probably going to be just a month uh, until things get a little bit skewed again, because it's probably not going to be that big of a patch, um, but slight pushes into certain directions. And Again, even for casual players, this is, oh, they're having monthly updates. Nice, let's check. Well, at least my mind, because if it's a quarterly update, I sometimes forget myself that there was an update because uh, I'm still in May. I'm not aware that we're almost in November. And I should 
because it's part of my work. <laughs> but it feels like May. So having monthly updates, again, I know I can check. And I'm not in the slump of, oh, is there an update? Oh, I don't know. If I hadn't had this channel, sometimes I wouldn't know if there is an update because I forget to check. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts on the updates? Again, I really, really like it. Um, if they are consistent, go for it. It's awesome. Even for casual players, it's going to be great. TOs, I feel you. I feel every discussion that you're going to have. And I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but again, if you're on TO, I love you. Thank you for your great work. But yeah. Again, what are your thoughts on all of this? Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section. I'm keen to know what you have to say. And while you're here, please remember to do all the YouTube stuff because sending buttons is not only fun. Why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and talk more wargaming and lore, hopefully again, three times a week. And by that, I of course mean like and subscribe. And if you want, you can support me with the links in the description box as well. Otherwise, have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.